Welcome to Tech Tips. I'm Len Groom. Today we're talking about trailer bearings. How many times have you seen somebody on the side of the road because they didn't maintain their trailer bearings? Well, we went out and we talked to some industry experts on what they do to maintain trailer bearings. Let's take a look. The foundation of your vacation rides on your bearings. Spend a little time, check your bearings, pack your bearings, otherwise you're going to end up with problems like this gentleman did. His bearing seized up, he ended up wrecking his spindle, so he had to buy a new axle. They can cost anywhere from $500 to $2,000. So just spend a little time, check your bearings before you head out. I'm going to show you how to do that. We already have the wheel off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the, the dust cap off, which we have a special tool for. Looks something like this, but you can also use a hammer and a screwdriver just to pop the cap off. So we'll pop that off. And then we got a cotter key, which you're going to remove that. Just bend your tabs and just pull that out. You're going to have to save that because you're going to reuse that. And you take your nut off. Best thing for this is just the channel locks. They work the best. Set that on a clean rag. Next thing you're going to do is want to pull the hub out a little bit. You're going to catch the bearing and there's usually a washer here. Just go like that. Pull your outer bearing and your washer out. And keep that as clean as you can. So you can probably reuse that if it's in good shape yet. And you're going to pull your hub all the way off. And your inner bearing and seal should stay in your hub. Now that we got the hub removed, you notice that the seal is wet. So that means you're losing grease. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop that seal out and we're going to replace it. You can also use a screwdriver for this. So you just pop that out. Then you pop your inner bearing. And we'll clean those, make sure those are good before we put everything back together. Now that we got the bearings out here, I'm going to show you how to clean them. What we got here is just a rag. I'm going to wipe the big grease chunks off here. Just kind of wipe them down here a little bit. Some of that stuff off and then just kind of look them over. Seem like there's a lot of wear. Are they real rough? That means they're probably shot. These ones here don't look too bad. Now what I'm going to do here is uh, you can use like brake cleaner to clean them up real good. Get all the old grease off. Uh, I'm going to go get them cleaned up. We'll see what we got. All right, now that we got everything clean, I'm going to show you how to pack the bearings. Now what I got here is a special tool. You can get this at any hardware store, any automotive store. They're pretty cheap. Uh, I'll show you how to do it both ways with the tool and by hand. Well, first thing you do here is you unscrew that. Set your bearing down on there. And you screw the top back on. And try to get her pretty centered there. And just tighten that down. Then we're going to grab the grease gun. And we're just going to start pumping grease in there. I recommend using water resistant grease. Seems to work the best. And we'll just pump in there until the bearing is full grease. As you can see there, it's starting to come out. We'll give her a little more here. And I think that's pretty good. 
And you just unscrew it. And I did the inner bearing here. So we got that. Grease is all the way through. She's nice and nice and greased up. So we're gonna drop that back in the hub. And I already got a new seal here because the old seal was shot. We'll drop that inner bearing in. We'll get the seal. And what I do here is I just grab a little hammer. I just tap the seal in all the way around like so until she's flush. She'll look something like that. Now I'm going to show you how to pack another bearing by hand. And what I do is I fill my palm up with grease. And what you're going to want to do is uh, try to get grease and make like a little crack here on both sides. So what you're going to want to do is go like this with your palm. Just kind of rub her in there. Do that all the way around. And once you think you got that pretty good, do the same on the front side. Just fill her up, so something like that. All right, now that we got everything greased, new seal in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the hub back on the axle. So you just slide her on, and you grab your outer bearing here. You put that in there, your spindle. Push her in there, and you're gonna grab your washer, and you're not. Like so. Well, the biggest thing is you don't want to over tighten these because you're going to smoke your bearings again. So, what you're going to do, you're going to tighten them, and you're going to bring them back quarter turn. Well, she spins nice. And don't forget to put your cotter key back in there. Otherwise you'll lose your nut. Tap that in there. Bend your cotter key over. And put your cap back on. I'm going to use that little fancy tool we got here. Now that's how you manually pack your bearings. Now they do have another system that's called the Easy Lube. I'll show you that. Now here we got the easy lube. Now this is the way to go if you can. What happens here is the spindle is drilled out and there's two holes back here. This would be your grease cert. You put your grease gun on here and what happens is it goes through your spindle, comes out these two holes. So it'll pack your back bearing and as soon as that's packed, got enough grease grease moves forward it'll fill up the cavity in the hub come up to your front bearing and once that's full it'll come out and you'll you'll see the grease which you know the cavity both bearings are greased now this is the way to go it's easy you don't have to tear the hub down you don't have to do nothing just put your grease gun on there pump until the grease comes out the front of your hub put the cap back on you're good to go I showed you manually how to pack your bearings. Now, if you're lucky enough to have the easy lube, that's the way to go. Guys, pack your bearings once a year and you're good for the season. Some really good information on maintaining those trailer bearings. Speaking of grease, don't forget about Amsoil's water resistant grease designed to maintain and extend the life of those bearings as well as dealing with water. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.